Hello, how do you do? Thanks a lot for watching my videos and uh, I can see that my last video, GIMP tutorial, how to remove your photos background, uh, it has gone about 57,000 views and over 200 likes. Thanks a lot, guys. So uh, it's about time I create a new version of this video to uh, better reflect it. So uh, let's go ahead. So uh, the, the version that I am using, uh, it's a software, GIMP, which is an alternative to Photoshop and it's free to use. So if you haven't used it, just type in GIMP software, click on GIMP.org and over here you can uh, find the latest version to download. Uh, they have uh, Windows, Mac and Linux versions. Basically, it's built for the Linux computers, Ubuntu, but it also supports Windows. I, I, I have Windows computer and I have installed it. Just uh, download the appropriate version you, you want and uh, install it. Now, after you install, uh, it will show up on the start menu. This is Windows 8 I'm using and it's over here. And if you don't have this fancy start menu, just go to your desktop and you should find find it over here somewhere on the start menu on the desktop somewhere. Anyways, it's not here. Okay, let me uh, click on and fire it up. Okay, so the first time you install GIMP, it will look something like that. Uh, this is a classic GIMP which has the windows uh, the main center window where you are going to edit it and uh, these are the dockable options over here so what you are gonna do is click on windows and select the single window mode so now it looks neat and uh, it's clean and over here just uh, select it and you can drag and make it uh, bigger the toolbar is bigger. I, I, I like to keep it so three tools per row. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to uh, make an image transparent. Okay, I have two pictures. So the first one is from my friend Sam and if I click on it, you'll see that uh, this guy has taken this picture on a white background and I'm going to make it transparent. And after I do that, I will also show it the same, how to do the same on this picture of mine if you have a different background. Okay, so let me just drag it, just hold the mouse over here and uh, drop it here. So it will automatically render and load up and uh, it's, a, uh, it's a very huge image. If I zoom it, just uh, hold the control button on your keyboard and uh, scroll the mouse. You can also uh, uh, click on press the plus button to zoom and press the minus button to zoom out on your keyboard. Okay. Uh, whenever you are doing uh, something like this, make sure you have a very uh, bigger image. High resolution image works better for these type of works. Okay. Okay go to the picture over here and right click on and click on add alpha channel okay now uh, this image has been added the alpha channel now it, you we can make it transparent so uh, just go here on the left this uh, magic ones thing it's called the fuzzy select tool just click on here and over here there are a couple of threshold just uh, let me just do, zoom it and uh, you'll see that there are threshold. It's now set to by default uh, 15 threshold. Let me just uh, select it and see what happens. Just click on. Okay, now I can see that uh, the area has been uh, selected. If I scroll down over here, it's uh, it's like that. Okay. Uh, if I want to add some more detail, let me zoom it. And see that I can see that uh, some parts of the hair is still white so uh, I just have to increase the threshold okay let me uh, increase the threshold to about 30 32 okay let me select again 
Okay, now you can see that it's much more closer. Uh, much more closer to the hair and uh, there are less white sparks. So the idea is just uh, use the threshold mark, increase it and uh, select it and see when you you have the spot. Okay, I, I can see that uh, the area of the air has been cut off. Okay, so it looks uh, kind of nice. Let me zoom out. It looks kind of nice. And now, uh, what you have to do, you have selected, just uh, delete it by pressing the delete button or you can just go to images, image and, uh, no, I'm sorry, just go to edit and uh, just cut. Okay, now you can see that uh, there's a background which is transparent. This, this checkered mark shows that uh, this is a transparent background. Okay. Now I can see this area is also white because there's a, it's inside uh, the picture. So uh, I have to do the same again. Just go to uh, the fuzzy select, select and uh, click here. And now this part has been created too. Uh, and now edit, I can do the same here. I click here, edit and cut, okay well done now uh, this picture has been done and uh, i can save it and i can use it on the web i can also add a different color on the background just uh, go here layer new layer let me name it background okay now you can see that the background layer is in the top and the picture layer is on the bottom. Okay, let me select the background layer and now uh, use the bucket fill tool over here and now select uh, a color. Let me select something, uh, say I wanna select this blue color. Okay, now let me, uh, okay, it's, it shows that there's a cross. So uh, I think I have to select and uh, none. I have to select none then it will work out so before it was selected it was the the layer was selected so uh, the bucket was not working so uh, when you see the bucket is not working just go to uh, select and select none okay now uh, let me uh, drop the color here if you see that my active layer is the background so it will show uh, it will drop on the background but not on the image okay okay it's it's now done and uh, you can see that uh, now there's no image this is because the background is on the top the layer just select this layer and uh, click this arrow symbol arrow button and now the layer is behind it okay now uh, it's up to you you can enter uh, and edit further and uh, once you are okay with it just go here and go to file and click on export click on export as and now uh, let me create a new folder export it now uh, let me select sam king one jpeg okay export okay now if i uh, see on this folder i can see that this picture is over here with a new background now uh, i can also do this by uh, removing this background just click here on the eye symbol and now this is transparent and uh, next time just go to file export as and also remember that uh, if you want to keep the transparent background you want you want to make it transparent and you want it to use on your web projects make sure you save it on png fo format png format png or ping format so it will be remain like that click on export export 
usually PNG files take more memory compared to JPEG. So when you want to save memory, use JPEG. But when you want to uh, keep the transparency, use PNG. Okay. So uh, side by side, I can see two images that I have worked on. One is the JPEG image with a custom background and other with a transparent background. You can see that when I mouse over it, it looks like a transparent one and it shows like this one. So uh, this is how you have learned how to make the image transparent. Okay. Now, uh, as I promised before that I will do another one where the image is not static and how to do that. Okay, let me just close it. Close all. Okay, this guy. Okay, now let me pick this image. This is the image of mine in a uh, recent event. So uh, now when you have a different background other than a static background, it's very hard to uh, make it transparent because there are so many areas to uh, you have to edit. If I click on fuzzy select tool and uh, pick pick an area, it will show that uh, it hasn't uh, selected everything. If I click here, you will see that uh, the software has mistaken and uh, picked my hair, my parts of my body. So uh, on this part. I have to do some more work. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record this full video on a next part. And uh, so uh, I can uh, show you how I do that exactly. So go ahead and um, check out that next video and uh, use the existing tutorial that I have so far. Use this tutorial and uh, uh, make that image transparent while I record that other video where I'm going to show you uh, how to make the image transparent when you have uh, an image with a different background. Okay, so uh, let me select none. Okay, so go ahead and uh, click the subscribe button if you want to uh, watch more tutorials like this. Please feel free to uh, like this video and leave a comment about how you are using GIMP software. And uh, let me know if, if this video has been uh, helped you. So please uh, share this video and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye.